Russians are suffering heavy losses in battle for Chassiv Yar, Estonian intelligence. The intelligence center of the Estonian Defense Forces says the situation on the battlefield in Ukraine remains challenging. Russian occupying forces are making some progress, although they are suffering significant losses, while Ukrainian soldiers are short of ammunition. Estonian intelligence indicates that the Russians have made tactical breakthrough northwest of the war-torn town of Avdiivka and pushed forward five kilometers. The Russians are also maintaining pressure on the village of Chasiv Yar, where they have advanced on the southern flank. Ukrainian troops are in need of support from their western partners and the lack of ammunition is a priority. However, no unplanned Ukrainian retreat or breakthrough of the front line has been observed. Ukraine is being forced to gradually cede control of territories that lack prepared defensive positions or opportunities for defensive action, Estonian intelligence added. The Russian forces are continuing to reorganize their units in the Luhansk front, pulling formations fighting on the battlefield back to the rear to recover and replenish supplies and replacing them with fresh ones. The Donetsk front remains the main focus of Russian offensive operations with a significant number of Russian troops deployed in the area. Estonian intelligence expects no quick capture of Chasiv Yar as the town has strong defensive fortifications so the Russians are suffering heavy losses in the fighting. If Russian forces capture besieged Chasiv Yar, it will enable them to launch offensive against other cities of Donetsk Oblast, the Kortizia group of forces Nazar Voloshin told Politico. If the Russian occupiers manage to capture this city, they will have the opportunity to launch an offensive on Kostiantinivka, Druzkivka, Kramatorsk and Sloviansk, Voloshin told. Voloshin went on to explain that Chasiv Yar is the dominant height in the region and its control will allow the Russian invaders to push forward with other cities of Donetsk Oblast. Intense fighting is underway in the area of Avdiivka Marinka. The Russians have advanced towards the settlement of Pervo Maisk. Low intensity fighting has been observed in Zaporizhia and Kherson Oblasts. Clashes involving direct and long range weapons take place daily. Ukrainian forces are continuing to retain their foothold on the left bank of the Dnipro River, regardless of Russian attacks. Russian Tu-22M3 takedown may reduce attacks on Ukraine. Experts' opinion. The downing of the Russian Tu-22M3 bomber indicates an expansion of Ukraine's defense capabilities, enabling them to reach further and threaten enemy strategic aviation. Alexander Musienko, head of the Center of Military Law Researchers of Ukraine, explained in a comment to RBC Ukraine that recent strikes on airports in Zankoy, Russian radars in Mordovia and Bryansk regions, and now the downing of the Tu-22M3 aircraft demonstrate Ukraine's increasing capabilities. This all speaks to the fact that our capabilities are increasing. As a result, we can reach much further and pose a threat not only in the air but also on the ground. This means that the airfield in Olenia is no longer an unreachable target for Ukrainian drones, which I believe will be utilized, explains Musienko. In his view, all of this is part of a systematic effort to counter strategic aviation and prevent Russian Tu aircraft from approaching Ukraine. We're talking about the Tu-22M3. While the Tu-95s unfortunately can still be used, they are still far away, but for the Tu-95s, the decision will be to strike them precisely at the airfields. Musienko believes the expert also emphasizes that Ukraine's first successful interceptions of Kh-22 missiles indicates that despite the lack of air defense systems, our defenders are taking measures to shoot down such targets within existing capabilities. Currently, the Ukrainian armed forces are utilizing various means, including countermeasures against electronic warfare systems, drones and individual missiles, particularly Kh-22. This represents a comprehensive solution from our partners and Ukraine, which is creating additional capabilities to neutralize these missiles. So while we await support and more systems from our allies, we are leveraging our existing capabilities, says Musienko. In response to whether Ukrainians should expect a reduction in mass missile attacks following the downing of the enemy Tu-22M3 and Kh-22 missiles, the expert responded that it is more appropriate to discuss taking action to minimize such attacks. I believe everything will be done to ensure that the consequences of these mass attacks are not as significant. We will work to minimize them. This will be done for sure. 
Unfortunately, we cannot fully protect ourselves from such attacks yet, but the corresponding work is ongoing, said Musienko.